embroidery or puff prints how can you make them in claw well let me show you first thing first you need to make sure your logo is in a png with no background format if your logo has a background try to remove it so if you have your logo in this format we can move on to the next step first i'll be covering embroidery to make the embroidery you need a software called the adobe substance sampler <laughs> download and install adobe sampler onto your computer and once you've installed the app open up a new project and drag and drop your logo into the app here i'll be importing the logo as a bitmap and import once you have your logo in in the assets browser on the left side search for embroidery drag and drop the embroidery effects onto your layers panel on the right side now once you have the embroidery effects here on the bottom you can edit the properties so the first thing i would like to edit is the density i'll crank the density up uh, to 300 and here you can change your embroidery style to fill an outline whichever one uh just play with this settings and choose which one you would like to go for for this video i'll just stick to the view and outline under the imperfections i'll crank this down to zero i want zero imperfections and finally the last thing i'll be doing will be the displacement so I'll crank down the displacement to 0.01. Now once you've played with all the settings and you're okay with the result, you can export the maps. Uh, you can export out the maps by coming here to export. Um, export as... Uh, rename the material to... Um, rename to any name of your choice and also choose where you would like to save the embroidery to choose where you would like to save the embroidery maps to and under the material settings make sure the format is in png and the preset is set to clove and here the maps i'll be exporting out will be texture normal map displacement and opacity and once you have all these maps selected and you've also chosen where you would like to save your maps just click export and your maps will be exported out so we are done in sampler i'll just close this app and add to clo 3d in clo 3d the first thing i would like to do will be to import the under the object browser in clo 3d uh, go to the graphics section and here i will drag and drop the texture first now once i have the texture in and by the way guys if you would like to get a template like this a 3d template like this visit our website the link will be in the description so under the texture property editor i can bring in the normal map and also the displacement map by dragging and dropping the normal onto the normal here 
and I'll do the same for the displacement. So once you have all that done, now I can drag and drop my uh, drop my design onto the garments, and you would see the design reflect in the 3D space. So first and foremost, uh, just click on the graphics again and click the saturate. So I can see what I'm working with. So I'll scale down the I'll scale down the logo to my preference scale down the logo and in the 3d view you can see the effect of the embroidery so i'll scale it to my preference and once you're okay with the looks um i'll go ahead to change the color of my uh embroidery to a color of my preference in this case i would like to use gold apply and finally i'll change this from type to shiny yep so to see a realistic view of what we are working with i'll quickly come into the render view click render on the top left render and it will open this render viewport and yeah i'll click refresh to see what i'm working with okay so the embroidery looks a little rough okay the first thing i would like to do uh to improve the detail will be to change the displacement amount to one and the particle distance to one that way i'll get like a more realistic a more detailed embroidery and this is what it looks like So yeah, that's how you create embroidery in Clo. The next one is puff prints. Also, finally, I can just increase the normal detail as well to give it like more detailed normal. I'll just crank it to 100. And yeah, that's it for embroidery. The next thing I'll be showing will be puff prints.